today we're going to learn our dismounts for our balance beam. But first we need to make sure that we're all stretched out. So first we're going to start with an arm pull across. One arm comes across your chest, the other arm comes up close to your wrist, and you're going to pull on both sides. Then you're going to do a cow face pose. One hand pat your shoulder blades and you gently push down on your elbow and then when you're ready you can come and pull underneath on both sides. Then we're going to get down on our hands and knees and we're going to do our wrists. So we're going to do with our fingertips facing out, leaning forwards, with our fingertips facing in, leaning backwards, then with our hands back of our hands down, leaning back, and with the back of our hands down, leaning forwards. And lastly, we're going to do our ankle circles. So you can do this standing or sitting. We want our, both ankles to go around both ways. So you're going to do these four stretching exercises until you feel you are ready to start with our first set of drills. So first we're going to learn how to do a side handstand dismount. So to start, you're going to need to do a handstand and try to hold before you come back down to a lunge. So starting in a lunge, good leg in front, bad leg in behind, arms straight up, pick up nice and strong, and come back down to a lunge. Try that a bunch of times to see if you can hold the handstand. After that, we're going to do a side handstand at a wall with our back against the wall. So you're going to go into it as a cartwheel and you're going to stop halfway through with your back facing the wall. So that means that my good leg is in front, close to the wall. This will be important because if we do it backwards, that's for later. So with my good leg in front, my arms up, cartwheel, hold, nice and flat before you come down to a lunge. Now we're going to try the cartwheel to side handstand without the wall. Still trying to hold in your side handstand before you come down. So starting in a lunge, cartwheel, hold, and lunge. So we're back and now we're going to learn the twisty dismount or the cartwheel side dismount with a quarter turn. So to start, we're going to do it with a cartwheel with our bellies against the wall. So for this one, you're going to start on the opposite side, where your good leg is in front, but it's on the outside. So my right leg is my good leg, so it's starting in front, but I'm on the other side, because when I go into my cartwheel like normal with my right hand down, and then my left hand, because I'm righty, so my right hand goes down first, I'm going to pick up, but my belly is going to be against the wall. And just like last time with it against the wall, we're going to hold, and then you're just going to continue over It's finishing in a lunge. So starting in a lunge, you're going to cartwheel up and hold. Try to get as close as possible, and then finish in a lunge on the other side. You want to kick up with your belly and your hands legs as close to the wall as possible. Keep trying until you feel really confident because then we're going to move on to our next step which is we're going to do it without the wall and we're going to step our bad hand on top of a higher surface. So it can be a super small surface. I have a board here with me so I'm just going to put that down and it's important that it goes behind my hand. So if my hands come down, it's on the other side of where my hand should be. So if I put my hands down here, my left hand, which is my bad arm, is going to reach across and come back to touch. So you're going to still kick up, starting in a lunge, cartwheeling up to a side handstand, trying to hold, and then you're going to take that bad hand and move it on top of your surface. You can use a book. You can use a small surface, a thicker surface, whatever you're comfortable with. 
hands down, hold, and then move with one hand up on top. Try to come down on your feet because after you're done with that and you're feeling really comfortable holding and then moving one hand over, we're now gonna move our hand over, which is gonna twist our upper body and we're gonna let our lower body twist with us and we're gonna fall into a front support. So again, you can use your surface if you would like. You don't have to. I'm not going to, just to show you how it's gonna look. So you're gonna start in a lunge. Hands down, move, and come down, finishing in a front support. So I want you to notice that when my hand, when my bad hand moves around, my good hand twists with it as I'm falling down to a front support. So one more time, focusing on my hands. Starting in a lunge, hands down, hold, move, and move. Hey guys, so once we're done with all of our drills, we're gonna finish with a conditioning exercise. So we're gonna do as many reps as possible in one minute for these four exercises. So first, it's going to be a handstand shoulder touch. So you're going to find a wall and you're going to put your belly flat against it. Walking really close. And then you're going to reach up to one shoulder, touch, up to your other shoulder, and touch. So you're going to touch each shoulder as counts as one. You're going to try to do as many of those as you can one minute. If you need to come down within that one minute and take a break, that break counts towards one minute. So you're trying to do as many times as you can, so make sure that they're quick breaks and you come right back up really fast. Next, it's going to be a reverse crunch. So we're going to come down onto our backs, put your hands by your bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to crunch your knees to your chest, Extend your legs out, but they don't touch the ground. And then you're gonna bring your knees back up and out. Again, as many times as you can in one minute. Then we're gonna find a surface to step on top of, and we're gonna do our step ups. So for our step ups, it's important that we switch legs on each one. So for example, I'm gonna start with my left, step up with my right, step down with my left, then step down with my right. And now I'm going to start with my right, step up left, step down right, step down left. So you don't want to do it too fast so you don't accidentally let your foot slip, but you still want to do as many times as you can, again, in one minute. And finally, we're going to do a hollow hold with our arms up for one minute. So laying down with your arms up, pushing your back flat against the floor, and you're gonna lift up. So the hall holds with your arms up is to mimic your handstand shape and to get strength in that core so it'll be easier to do your handstands. So just like with the handstand shoulder touches, if you need to come down in your hollow hold for a quick break, those seconds count towards one minute. So make sure that it's a short break and you come right back up and your goal is to hit a full minute in your hollow hold. So those are the four exercises we're gonna do for one minute each. Good luck you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.